Right, I don't even know if this is the third or the fourth, but oh my god! Hello! <laughs> it's the third or the fourth job lot of VHSs. And that's how you start the video. Hello, as you've just seen, this is the job lot of VHSs. I think this is the third, but it might be the fourth. Like uh, Brit's auntie, give us a load. Mark, give us a load. I bought a load, random, VHS. But this is a job lot. Now, Belle, my friend, I've known since I was a kid, when I used to live with and stuff, who hates the camera, messages. I think it was only last night. He was like, dude, there's loads of VHSs on uh, the marketplace. I am a little bit out of breath carrying them. Bags still in the car. Anyway, <laughs> Belle is funny enough, just messages, as I've said that, to say there is 500. Hundred DVDs have no contact if you're interested though Facebook marketplace if you need it. I do not want 500 DVDs See that Rambo is in there. Wow 60 quid for the lot though Yeah Definitely not my cup of tea. Right, okay. No need any DVDs VHSs, <laughs> but, but I can't believe Bell's messages. Right, so I, I have no idea what is in there. Um, he showed us a quick pitch, I quickly scanned, I read the title, I know one of them is Escape from New York, but I think this might be a lot of small box sell throughs. So I've literally bought this for a tenner, blind buy, it's a bin bag and there's a box. So I'm literally going to have to shift the bin bag, which is going to lot in and I'm literally going to squat and grab because I don't want to see what I'm getting so first up here we go we have T <laughs> wow time bandits wow so that's pretty cool now that's a pretty old little small box VHS uh, this looks like it has been adapted now inside it has been rewound this is pretty pretty cool actually for the first one BBC and video um, but what I'm finding really cool about that is the PGs have been added, so it's a preset, small box preset. Uh, massive description on the film. Um, Time Bandits is awesome. I do have Time Bandits there on Arrow release. Uh, it's pretty mental. I always find the bit with the uh, boatman and his hat disturbing. And there was a kid, I didn't want to fucking look at my wardrobe. I just recently watched the Jabberwocky as well. No mold on the tip, so that's yeah, not a bad start. Time Bandits was over there. I don't have that on VHS. I blatantly filmed this way. Can I just be arty farty and terrible bad filmmaking? Just stop there. Just so you can see the rest of the VHSs, like the tower. I took Luke Francis' poster off because people didn't realize they were all VHSs to the roof. So next up, and some over here. This could take a while, this video. Uh, we have <laughs> imagine if that was the first one I picked up out of all these it's the second so it's a uh, spectrum John Carpenter's VHS um, statue let me down I love the front cover of that uh, it's pretty cool um, it's pretty old VHS it's probably quite an early release that Escape from New York uh, it's got 50 pence on there though so this is not an original collector someone's bought this it's and not rewound it. Um, signs of a little bit of mold on that, but that is that's one of the reasons I got it. I nearly bought Big Trouble in Little China on VHS um, the other week on eBay, and uh, my maximum bid was thirty quid. And then at the last minute, I went to thirty-two, and I lost the bid at thirty-one six. And then someone posted on the video club the other day, the hipsters are at it because the same VHS but bear in mind it just had a sticker removed from it was going for £500 like no like no next up June that's pretty cool because it's that way David Lynch spectacular stun beyond your dreams the movie beyond your imagination now approximate run time 1984 131 minutes there's a lot for June in there so it's a Forefront video, Forefront I've done quite a lot, including Freaked, which uh, I'm going to get signed off Alex Winter next week, so yeah, June. So it's keeping time bandits, and escape from earlier, June's going on the pile I'm not too sure about. 
unless I need to build some of it. So, squat and grab. I picked up four here. St. Elmo's Fire. Another one with got 50 pence on. Passion Burns Deep. Nice as a Cinema Club one. The Cinema Club trailer used to do my fucking tits in because it was on everything. Stand By Me and all these classics on. Used to go on for a while. Um, so, but it's got the cast on the back. Rob Lowe there. Um, Emilio Estevez. Molly Ringwood. You know, the Breakfast Club really late. So that's a pretty cool one. I don't have. Keep that over there. Next up we've got, wow, I'm Alan Partridge. Um, I hope it's not money, this stuff. I'll cry. BBC Home Video. That's just going straight over there. Straight over the Alan Partridge. <laughs> Discard videos. Hellraiser Hellbound. Wow. This just recently came out on uh, Blu-ray. A part of the box set. It's now been separate. I'll tear your soul apart. Again. <laughs> Again. I recently just picked up the Hellraiser free soundtrack, double vinyl. Not a gatefold though, but it's blood smoke red. I love the score. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, Rush recently got Hellraiser back on here. Uh, Arrow? Yeah? Yeah? Uh-huh. Aye, right, and... So yeah, Cinema Club. So, films I used to have a kid, you got Hellraiser in there. You've got uh, Groundhog's, Groundhog Day. Shawshank Redemption in there, Red Heat. Dracula, Abraham Stokes, First Night, Gandhi, The One. So yeah, from the Night Express. So yeah, Hellbound, Hellraiser, can go in the pile to keep. This one is, well, Ghostbusters 2. I've got a few different versions of Ghostbusters, uh, but Ghostbusters 2. Uh, got another bit where Winston goes in the train. And uh, that's on there, turn that off. Uh, again, it's a cinema club, that's probably going to, well, you yeah, know, you're looking around and you you're looking around and you go like, oh, what's that VHS there? And you look, um, and Menace, okay, that's pretty rare with Snoop Dogg in it, but, you know, you can see some weird shit. Like, someone pointed out on the channel not long ago, I've got Pavarotti somewhere. I was like, right, dude, it's just keeping up the fucking tower. I don't even know where Pavarotti came from. Next up, we've got Hellraiser. That's pretty cool. Love the front cover. I will tear your soul apart. Would have been cool if I got the other one first. I originally picked up the slight at the start, so I can analyse these VHSs a bit. But yeah, that razor, wow, blinded, blinded by the light. Cinema Club, so none of these so far have been big box VHSs and they've put a bit more detail in there because there is exactly what I've just been talking about in colour. So they paid a little bit more attention to Hellraiser. Again with a squat. Next up we've got Easy Rider, I do have that somewhere. Uh, yeah, I do have Easy Rider. The Beatles, Magical Mystery Tour, including I Am The Walrus and Ghostbusters 1. And that's cool, actually, because that's an original release one because it's got the barcode on the side. Uh, here to Save the World, RCA. I haven't really wound that. Supernatural Spectacular. Yeah, so that's a, that's a lovely little gem. Again, I do have that. But, uh, Easy Rider. Ooh. Again, the video collection has been rewound. It looks fucking brand new. So again, Eye on the Walrus. That's probably got some, you know, it's in perfect condition. So yeah, keep them too. Next up, we've got, I've got a handful. We've got, wow, what the fuck is that? D, 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 I can't even pronounce that one. I have no idea what that is. It's a French film, though. I don't even know what that's called. Alright, so anyway, there. D Lick. Keep that one anyway. Sexy. Okay. Oh, Hell, oh, Hellraiser. Bloodline. Pretty much bushed. I'm not sure which. This is like the fourth or the fifth one, isn't it? Um, part of the Cinema Club as well. Double um, barcode. Um. See ya, uh, Bruce Ramsey, Bloodline, Cinema Club. Next up we've got David Lee Roth. Wow, what the fuck? 79 pence, that one though. That's, uh, that's somewhat different, that one. Wasn't expecting that one, David Lee Roth. Oh, well. Dead the Dead, wow. Um, it's 5 99 I think it's pretty cool and self Ruse has still got the sticker on. HMV Virgin, but like five ninety nine, you know, there's no padge in them each week. <laughs> Stuck them on it. 
Uh, did it. It's quite cool and then it hasn't been rewound. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. The other day. Uh, next up, we've got. Wow, so it's back to that Spectrum series again with um, Escape from New York, American Werewolf in London. I've done a review for that for Fast Forward Reviews. I do have that. It is coming out on Arrow as well. I um, love the front cover of that. You can't get no better. Wow, another David Lynch, Lost Highway. Nearly bought the soundtrack this a few times, even though I'm not too familiar. I have tried to watch this in the past. When this came out, you've got Bill Pullman, you've got Patricia Roquette. Um, is this the one with the creepy fucking guy with the bald head? Yep, it is. It's him. Yeah, it has been around. A lot of dust inside that box. Uh, next up, we've got, oh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, original front cover. I do have this, but it has been sun, sun bleached to fuck. It's why I like doing my job lots, because I have no idea what <laughs> You get the thing. I like the front cover. I don't like the front cover on Blu-ray. I think it looks lovely on Blu-ray, but I think that is the original and best artwork. Um, picked up the vinyl when I was in um, Manchester. Love the score. Oh wow, Army of Darkness, the Medieval Dead, the third of the Evil Dead trilogy contains Alton of Enden. So yeah, that's pretty cool artwork. That one from back in the day. Again, forefront and video. These were either a big buyer, um, you know, from a maybe a catalog or um just picked them off from all when they came out right there's another column there's another column of the box so i don't know how long <laughs> oh, it's, it's a thing <laughs> i do have that don't i i'm bound to have that you know what fuck my eye I don't have that copy. <laughs> I, I have that in multiple times, but I do not have that copy. <laughs> oh, that's, that's that's just that's totally amazing. That was totally worth it. So yeah, wow, look at the tape as well, man. That's fucking awesome. Um, that's fucking cool. That. Oh man, I will be loving that. In Coogan's Run. Okay, so. The fan Steve Coogan. So this guy was a Steve Coogan fan. Um, a lot of the British ones are there, but that's going over there. Discarding. Yeah. Next up, we've got the Omen. Nine ninety nine. So I don't think we'll probably find a big box in here. This whoever owns these had quite a good in interest in films, but wasn't an X rental. Oh, but that's pretty cool from Omen that one one part of it <laughs> it's a trilogy so it's long after its release gregory peck there it's a really cool picture three pound from somewhere so it's been bought for 9.99 almond one and two are advertised in there three oh my god it would it would take the almond look at that look at that dan percy that has got christmas snow mold on it like the almond shit there that is just minging that one that is absolutely minging Next up, we've got Blake Seven. Really, complete two unedited edited episodes from the BBC. Wow, has been rewound. Yeah, that's no interest in that. That tower is getting rid of this. Stargate widescreen position. I'm going widescreen edition. I'm um, going to love for Star Trek, Stargate actually. That's just the standard cover we all know. Um, I picked up the Blu-ray. Blu-ray is quite rare. It's not very handy. And uh, one thing I liked about the Blu-ray, it's uncut, and the idea that the government knows that there's someone at the other side by showing the third artifact, I thought that's a fucking game changer for me, that. Weird science, cool. It's purely sexual. Kelly Lubrock. Yeah, standard, universal release stuff. Um, next up, that was, oh, wow, Demolition Man. Now, I do have Demolition Man. It is right there, right there. So I do have Demolition Man. Always loved the front cover of Demolition Man. Sloan Snipes, Demolition Man. Uh, Sloan his big comeback. Actually just watched Rocky Five last night. Not long after that. Again, Warner Brothers from the era when they just had all that cloudy little VHS, like the 93-ish era. Um, right. There's a copy of Lost Boys and they have not seen it. <laughs> so there's a copy of Lost Boys. Uh, screen classics, I do have this. I have multiple copies of the Lost Boys. There's normally Lost Boys just hanging around everywhere. 
uh, the fairground one. Um, give us something's face. Yeah, so yeah, it's been pretty bashed and buggered. Again, it's a re little reissue. Wow, CE on there as well. I'm not sure what that is. Close captions, maybe? Yeah, no. Nothing to do with close. Anyway, Lost Boys. Yes, yes, yours. So they've been into the music. I'm not a big fan of yes, but yeah. Includes two hours of rare archival footage. Next up, wow, house. Wow, okay. Then. I'm sure I have house. I have one of the houses on Big Box VHS. There's house one, horrors found a new home. Um, my house video, uh, I don't have that box out anymore. Um, but the video is still on YouTube. You want to watch me looking through the houses, reminiscent, and the time machine. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, that one. So that's pretty gnarly, that. That's a front cover I've never seen before. Uh, very old because the PG doesn't have like any PG graphic behind it. Um, very MGM sci-fi range. There you go. That's that's lush. That one actually MGM. So there's some absolute, there's some gems in here. They're all small boxes, but there's some absolute gems in here. So, so next up we've got Blue Oyster Cult, live in 1976. The guy had some taste in music. A lot of these music VHS has come out now and they're just not available. Like people come in and ask them from all the time and the music's just not available. They're like their performances. Wow, wow, check. Oh, get in, right. So that's, that's, so now I'm happy to spend £10. Um, one rubber's home video, that's, it's carry. Um, I collect them, they're over here. Can you still see them? This is the collection I've been sorting out. War Games, Rocky IV, Nico, The Lost Boys, Living Daylight, Lethal Weapon 2, Batman, Bloodsport, Gremlins, <gasps> and Gremlins. Gremlins moved. Gremlins moved the whole shelf. Sorry, Oscar. And sorry, Matthew. Yeah, sorry. Happy with that. That's a nice little gem, that. Nice tape in it as well. The prom queen. So that's a little gem as well. Next up, no escape. Wow. So I'm over the moon with that as well because I had that and I lost it. Um, no escape. Unlike Owen Wilson, that's the film known. The film's a very dark one. It's from producers of Aliens and Terminator. Really order. Obviously, just being in Goodfellas. Um, stars a lot of up and coming stars. Lance Harkins in there. Um, I love the story, it could get remade, but it's a hell of a movie because the film starts off and the credits are on the guys just marching on and it's this awkward downward view and then this one, he just walks up, blows the fucking commander's head off, <laughs> fucking point blank, and then he gets sent off and there's like this island where they just send everyone, which I think is one of the best things ever, you know, just send them there, you, <laughs> you're doing life, like go to that island, that's it, and there's like good and there's people who just want to live out their life and be peaceful and then there's all the crazy cannibals and like and he gets caught in the mix and it's quite a good action movie i've got it on dvd possible route wow the princess bride 9.99 recommended retail price okay andre the giant there heroes and villains and wizards and true love some classic little artwork there original soundtrack available on a bit Ooh. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? I shit me tell. So it's pretty cool, it's got one of them really old retro tapes. Um, I don't know what, it's just a tactics. It's a map. Wow. Now how cool is that? Like, that is awesome. That is really cool and that is, I don't know what year is this from. That's fucking awesome to have inside that. Yeah, so Princess Bride. Right, keep going. <laughs> keep on going. <laughs> you couldn't plan this. That is one of the best covers. And the one with gold mine is that one. Because that is the original. Fuck, everything's after, isn't it? That is one of the original arts. And that's probably because Matt Davies is not going to be my friend. That's probably what I'm going to get. Kiefer Sutherland to sign next week. 
when I meet them. And I'm definitely meeting them. I've got myself a VIP ticket. It's all guaranteed. But there, small box one. Again, it's part of that label I was just on about there as well. Oh, it's alive. Hasn't been rewound. Put the old water was in there. Very dusty that one, but yeah, another one of the Lost Boys. Can't believe that. Oh, I'll put two in the box. Next up, Dawn of the Dead. Director's cut. So this guy had taste. This guy definitely had Gary, maybe a girl. No disrespect there. Dawn of the Dead. Really bad typing on the actual tape itself. But Dawn of the Dead, wow. Little gem. Spike. This one's someone's wrote the name on this one. He's called Spike. Spike he's called. Um Time Cop now at 15 being re rated. Uh massive in the day. Um forefront video. Uh, Van Damme so he went downhill after that. He's dating Ferris Bueller's girlfriend in it, you know, it's it just makes no sense. I mean when they go to the past they go on this rocket ship and it fires off and then the fucking appear in the middle of the sky. Oh uh, Van Damme walks out and has to duck and gets run over and like almost gets run over by a semi truck and you think Where's the rocket? Because he comes back in the fucker. Where's the rocket? Is there some kind of... It's never explained. Never explained. Next up, we've got... Oh, heat. Heart. Heart. Yeah, it looks cool. Could kill. More, more music. Right. That is the end of the box. And Kiss Exposed. Wow, okay. Forefront video when they did all that. Oh, did I roll that either? Perfectly ripped for that point. It's a big kiss. Got about love gun and gave up on that one. Right, so let's go for the bag. Right. <laughs> Existence. Right, I have this and I have it in one of them covers actually. You know, it, it, it it's quite common that I do see this. I don't know why it's not there now, but Existence is one of the fucking weirdest films ahead of its time. You know, people give soul credit. I mean, that's well, that was fucking we had long before that one. Fucking guns made out of chicken bones and all playing. It's a very, very clever film. It's back. Beverly Hills Cop 2. I actually recently bought Beverly Hills Cop on a slipcase. I was meant to do a, a video for it, but never did. This is 99 pence. The heat is back on. Advertising Eddie Murphy's. That's a pretty hard fucking tape, that. You could smack somebody with that tape. And so I married an ex murderer as well, Mike Myers. Um, again, Cinema Club, Video Club. I'm, I'm running out of steam. Hey, keep on going. It's only going like half 11 tonight. Wow. So that's cool. Batman widescreen presentation, collector's edition. Collector's edition because it's widescreen. Um, the entertainment video, entertainment video, see there, I've totally good myself. Next up, we've got New Order Substance 1989. That's a pretty classy looking VHS Virgin. Um, none of these are flip covers, I've not been checking of the flip covers. Um, and this one, oh, we've got another Blake 7. What the fuck is that in the front cover? Another complete two, it's the web. Seek, locate, and destroy. So, Blake Sevens. Next up, we've got Freddy Godfingered. Wow, and I do have that. Uh, the hot dog recommends. Yeah, I remember that as well. One of the best things ever about Freddy Godfingered is when you watch the DVD, it has the world premiere audio track on, which is hilarious. Oh, Princess Bride again. Hmm. Of course it would have another map. <laughs> Why wouldn't it not have a map? Oh. Like that's just... Oh, you couldn't write that. Why? I just... I just... I, I lost for words. Ah, the Goonies. <laughs> There's a Corey Feldman one in here somewhere. And there it is, the Goonies. Now, do I have that version? Oh, I've got a Goonies shelf here, haven't I? I've got one, what's it called? Die Goonies. I actually don't think I have. Uh, yeah. I do. I do have that Goonies. I do. 
Nice. Back seems to be getting a bit lighter. Jewel in the Nile. You know? The Jewel in the Nile. Oh, Beverly Hills got one. That's pretty cool because that's one of the yeah, originals. The really old VHS, that one. Really release. Do have that one knocking around. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mitch, you're not getting that. <laughs> You are not getting that, Mitchell. That is a lush copy of Blade Runner. Now I have Blade Runner multiple times. Normally comes looking like that. Um, and that's that one. So it's a little bit more zoomed in. Changed the font dramatically. But yeah, that's pretty cool to have that. Blade Runner. Right, bags nearly empty. So secret of my success, we have a CIC one. Um fucking look at that retro PG on there. That's pretty cool. Black Adder. Full six episodes. 15. Yeah, like, I mean I had a few. Yeah. If you're wondering, true fact, Rowan Atkinson was born like five minutes down the road. You never see Rowan Atkinson walking around concerts. <laughs> yeah. You see Paddy McBoon quite often because I've seen, um, wow, look at that. Another Blake 7 1, the way back. And there, Pumpkin Head. Now, Pumpkin Head is also known called the Spirits of Vengeance, which I know from recently looking for some of the Dan Percy is up there. <laughs> Using it as a column. But again, it's Tart and Terror. A massive, massive absence of the movie inside. Mainly known for being uh, Stan Wilson's movie, uh, Pumpkin Head. That's a pretty cool cover. Right. We have a big box for your chest. <laughs> it would be one of the last ones, wouldn't you? Oh, I just want to put this down right now. Very raunchy scenes. Great. Sexually and very funny. Oh my god, it's uh, Antonio Banderas, so yeah, yeah, it's uh, looks like uh, to be just not this. Wow, tie me up, tie me down, that's what it's called actually. Um, so yeah, it's an extra rental from the video shop, it's not a flip cover, and that is borderline porn. Lush, so whoever this. VHS's are. Please don't stop us because he's only bought them down the road. Right, so we've got two left. Left or right? Right or left? So the one on the right feels more of a sell through. This one feels more of a first edition, but it is Buffalo 66. So that's a pretty late release, actually. Um, Vigo, Vincent, he's fell off the map. He'll be dead. Yeah, so we've got that one. And the last one is See No Evil, Hear No Evil, which I do have there. <laughs> I'm sure I have it again. Yeah. Classic film. What do you mean I'm not white? Um, so that's this. So having seen Mason, I'll try and do one more outtake. Um, this has been an epic unboxing. I'm sure it's the third job lot. Might be the second job lot. But goodbye to the outtakes. So the outtakes is pretty cool. I got a copy of the thing. I didn't have um, the skate from New York's pretty cool to have. Carry as well. Um, it's fucking crazy, man. I generally thought that thing cover came along because it's weird. Kind of round about the thing cover. So the thing cover, it's a nice cover, but it's the video game cover, you know. So when they brought the game out, which is a sequel to the John Carpenter's movie. Um, they then slapped this on all the boxes and stuff like that. And um, so it's pretty weird that they would do that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Can't believe there was two random maps in there. Can't believe there's only one big box VHS. But you know, as I say, Bell messages and was like, right, someone's selling this. Um, you picked them up for us for a tenner. And I went and picked them up. So yeah, it's unbelievable that. Like, I don't I mean, what time is it? 20 past 11. Oh, hang on. Bell's messages again. I can't believe that Bell's... 600... 
and 35 DVDs and eight mixed sets apparently I'm not in I don't want D I'm not interested in DVDs the only other DVD I want is without malice which is one of my mom mom chucked it out it does exist and I got it from Canada that's the only thing I look for because all I see there is Will Ferrell in the fucking person taking the picture and reflection <laughs> terrifying right short outtake because it's been a long ass video uncut this fucking vhs is everywhere normally when i come back from the charity shop and i find a can full of vhs's like under siege and stuff like that i found the other week i'll struggle to put it somewhere you know because like the thing that's made of glass if you think that's just a poster it's glass so like the shelf can't go any higher because it's glass and in like i nailed it to the wall and um, so it can't go any higher there i can't build another column there because it'd be nigh impossible to get in the fucking room yeah and you think oh you can use the rest of your house it's just like the kitchen maybe's maybe's start like exploding out so anyway hi right. thanks for watching goodbye for now and now the end is here